we had another question mm -hmm. from the Sangat and this is Can I read Gurbani without understanding? Uh, that's a very interesting question because uh, there's a huge argument behind it that should you understand Gurbani and then First, read it, yeah. then read it or is it okay if I don't understand Gurbani but I'm reading it, hmm. right? Um, there are two Sakyan that I can remember that, um, you know, um, gives context to this, right? Maybe you want to share on Guru Harugudan Sahib one? Uh, Guru Harai Sahib Ji. Guru Harai Sahib yeah. this one, on so, the Kyo and the Mataki. Yeah, so um, I think Guru Harai Sahib Ji were going on a course uh, uh, and they were going on a, on a hill with the Sangat mm -hmm. and it was just sunny like this and there was a broken matki, a broken pot, pot. and matki it was there was basically that pot was used to mm -hmm. store kyo and mm -hmm. it was broken mm -hmm. yep. Guru, the Sangat, before going for that uh, stroll, uh, Kor Savari, the Sangat asked Guru Harai Sahib that Maharaj, the same question um, I don't understand Gurbani, so should I read it? Should I not read it? Yeah, yeah. And Guru Sahib said, Chalo, I'll answer your question soon. So when Guru Sahib saw that, he stopped and he addressed the Sangat and he said that reading Gurbani without understanding mm -hmm. is, is like this broken matki that had kyo. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that the sun shines on that broken matki and it's shining, mm -hmm. it's still shining, you mm -hmm. know. It's basically trying to say that. When we read Gurbani, even when we don't understand the essence of Gurbani, the still sticks to yeah, you. Yeah, it still will stick to you, yeah. right? and it will still give you that effect. Mm -hmm. It will still work for you, and oh, asra pendaya. Yeah, you know, and knowing unknowingly, uh, what I call it, it actually is helping you. It's out. helping you it's out being as good well. To you. Yeah, it's still yeah. it's still working, you know. Yeah. But then the ultimate um, goal is yes, you must be able to understand Gurbani because we also say we also say, Hana, that. Uh, Sonia, Manya, Mankita, Pao, oh. and then we also mm -hmm. say Gurbani Sisan be um, Vichar Kani Pani, Shabadi Vichar, Dite Muktana Hui, Dite Shabadana Kare Vichar. Until you don't do Vichar of Shabad, of Gur Shabad, you don't contemplate on the meaning of Gurbani, then there's it not much the changes yeah, in it, your life that's going to happen. I agree, I agree. So, yes. uh, what's the second Sakhi? Oh, there's a Sakhi on Baba Nan Singh Ji, and uh, Guru Singh came to Baba Ji and said, Baba Ji, um, do I really need to understand Gurbani? Anna, then only it helps me out. Mm. So Baba Nan Singh Ji just, uh, said, um, you know, regardless if you put your hand straight or upside down, it warms your hand, mm. right? The same way, if you read Gurbani, regardless whether you understand it or you don't understand it, it has an effect on your mind. Mm. Of course, I think it's more of, you know, common sense. If you do it day in, day out, I'm sure it will struck your mind and you won't have you have this curiosity to understand what, what? is that particular meaning of the Shabbat. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And Utefer Kirpa Hundiya. And that's that's the that's the spark um, for you to start your journey into understanding Gurubani. Mm. So if we look at like physical, like you know, practical steps, Hana, mm -hmm. um, that we need to take yeah. to understand yeah, Gurubani. Of, co of course we can't just leave it and say, you know what? Yeah. I'll, I'll just read it without understanding it's it. It's forever, okay, it's fine. Hana? Yeah. So you, you have to take some steps to you improve have to make yourself. That effort. Effect. Yep. So I think um, one I would say is that Santhya is really important, Hana. Yep. Because one is that many a times, even reading Gurbani is very important to read properly. Shuddha Gurbani Parni Zaruriya because the Sakhi Guru Gobind Singh Ji, remember? Yeah, Where the Pankti Karte Ki Mita Karta Guru Har Gobind Sai Maharaj. Yeah, Aake yeah. Jane Gursura. Yeah. And then, um, and because it was a difference with the Lawan, the Lawan, the way yeah. the Sikh was reading. Mm. And Guru Sahib says that, Onu ja ke chaper maro, yeah. cause he's reading Gurbani wrong. Yeah, because right? each Laga Matra has different meaning. Has mening. different meaning, yeah. yeah. Ke and ke itself became like different, right? Yep. So, um, I think Santhya is really important because when we do Santhya, we auto, we, the, what the teacher does is that, the teacher will also explain certain pangtiya, right? Yeah. With us. I think the same when we went through, mm -hmm. when we asked what's the meaning of this pangtiya, then our ustad will explain to us, either our arthaya. Yeah, and then from there, that the the interest is built up, mm. that you know, I hoard parlama. Hoard I want to understand more, and that's when I think the initiative from your own self comes in. Mm. You you take extra initiative to take um, uh, what I call some Shabdart or you take Shabdart, some uh, yeah. what I call Tika mm. and you start uh, you know understanding what is Gurbani, mm, what is yeah. what is Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj saying, what is, what is Maharaj trying to explain, explain to us. Yeah. And then you know so now when you're trying to understand Gurbani like the Artha, I think as a beginner 
it's okay to read the English translation. It is. But I would say that the English translation are not. Do justice. Yeah, it's not doing justice to the actual, actual meaning, meaning. Yes. and um, it's not completely accurate as well yes so if we really want to understand what gurbani means the best will be the tk yes another the uh, there's so many tks to be honest uh, you know there's there's a lot of um a lot of people having this argument that a tk tk the other one is not good hmm. now i would say read all of them read all yeah why because it gives you a different understanding or context of a shabad mm, different perspective perspective as well, as well. Yeah. right that that's why you know for example if you're going to do degree right mm. they educate you to go and read so many sources yeah. to give you a better understanding true true right? so that's why I, i would say you know you go and read all these um, tks mm. and then you draw your conclusion and if you want to listen to katha like some people they don't prefer reading they want to listen so who can be listened to i think there are a few sh- um audios on gurumat vichar mm. there are few over there as well Um, Kathas of Katha, like Gani Thakur Singh ji has done one. Uh, Sun Guru Bachan Singh ji. Yes, but mm. that one is a bit difficult to understand oh, yeah. unless you are a person who is a bit more familiar with the terms of Gurbani. Mm, okay. Yeah. yeah, so there's another point as well like um, you know people say I don't understand Gurbani and I don't want to go and read the Atika, right? Mm. So there's so many sakhins as well um, where even Baba Guru Bachan Singh ji has said uh, sometimes when you read Gurbani you give an anupavi arth and anupavi arth means the arth that comes within you From the bakshish of vaigur sachi pasha mm. you get the arth of gurbani mm. right so ekta the, the arth comes uh, from just uh, superficially reading the gurbani talk that's an anupavi arth where you get a deeper understanding of the shabad mm. from within from and within and as well. that that vichar or that arth mm. can be so personal to you can be personal to me as well exactly. and um you know like what you mentioned reading different tks that's i think that's it explains and because the way i understand one pangti the way you understand that pangti could be completely different absolutely but it's basically building our connection with vahi guru yeah. you know so that's because end point. of the day it's more of once i understand gurbani how is this going to help me how progress me? to yeah. vahi guru how is it going to be yes. practical and how do we experience Um, with that shabad with that gurbani that we are reading hana yep. and we have uh, of course definitely on our channel as well that yep. you can understand you can listen to the kathas done on uh, different baniya yep. hana so i think listening will help with understanding gurbani reading will help with understanding gurbani as well but the whole point here is that we need to progress in understanding gurbani so even let's say we start reading gurbani with the understanding it's fine but putting in the effort then to eventually and progress, and progress. yeah progress and understand it so i think um if you have any other tips uh, any other method that would help uh, yourself or other people to understand gurbani um do let us know in the comment below hope you enjoyed that pulla chukan dikhima vai guru ji ka khalsa vai guru ji ki fateh Oh